Hello and welcome to episode 38 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, I'll detail the process of adding more moves to a character, such as another jab, or an angled tilt, or a smash attack. I'll be giving Dark Samus a third jab, although this method should work with angled tilts or smashes with just a little bit of tweaking. I really don't want to animate a whole nother jab for Dark Samus, so what I'm going to do is port Incineroar's jab 3 and just stick that on Dark Samus. The first step would be to copy the hitboxes and effects for Ensign's jab, which I've gone and done here. I'm also going to edit the damage and knockback of jab 2, so that it actually combos into jab 3. And then I'm going to turn this flag on. All that it's going to do is make it so jab 2 is allowed to combo if the player decides to. And that's all that we actually have to do for the plugin. I'm going to build it and put it in the episode 39 folder. Next up, I've ported the animation. I've shown this off before in episode 6, so I'd recommend watching that if you don't know how to port an animation. After that, we need to edit the motion list file to include the new move. We'll grab both Dark Samus's and Incineroar's motion lists from Wooboy's motion list dump. We'll download both of them, and then open them both in Notepad. To put the third jab into the motion list, I'm just going to search for Incineroar's jab 3, copy the whole thing, search for Dark Samus's second jab, and then just paste it in right after that. And that's it for the motion list. I can just take this file and put it directly in the motion body COO folder. Next up, we need to tell the game that Dark Samus actually has a third jab. As far as the game's concerned, these files and edits don't do anything if Dark Samus still only has two jabs. I'll show you how to edit the fighterparam.prc file without CSK's Smash Ultimate Tools site, and how to convert it to a PRC XML file so that it's compatible with other fighter param edits. First thing we gotta do is grab a vanilla fighterparam.prc. So we'll go to fighter, common, param, and fighterparam. Extract. Give it to the bot in the Smash Ultimate Discord, and type percentage convert to convert it into an XML file. We can then download this and edit it using whichever text editor we want. In this case, I'm just going to use Notepad. I'm going to jump around a lot with Control F since this is a pretty big file. I'm going to go to fighter kind. Gay again, and then attack combo max. So what I want is to copy attack combo max as well as combo attack one three end. So I'll just remember attack combo max is three, attack one three end is thirty two. There's actually more stuff in this file we can edit, like if F tilt or F smash can combo, if a character has a rapid jab how long they can charge smashes for, and a lot of other stuff. I'm just going to find Samus D and attack combo max. I'm going to say 3 there, and I believe 32 there. Now we'll save this and give it back to the bot. And I'll download this. Next up, turning the fighterparam.prc into a PRC XML. We'll be using parcel for this, so a link to download it will be in item 2 of the description. Big thanks to BlueJay for making Parcel, it's super helpful. I'm going to take my fighterparam.prc and find my Parcel directory. I'm going to paste it in and rename it to modded.prc. And then I'm going to grab the vanilla fighterparam.prc, the unedited one, rename that to vanilla.prc. I've renamed them just to make it super obvious, and you probably should too. You can open a command line here by typing cmd, and then type in the command parcel diff vanilla.prc modded.prc, and then what you want the output to be called. I'm just going to type out output.prcxml. Make sure to include the correct file type, that being prcxml, or else it won't work. And hit enter. 
and then you'll see output.prxml got outputted. Next, I'm going to take this and paste it into fighter common param and right here. And then, of course, rename it to fighter param.prxml. And the final thing we have to do before testing is make a config.json file, which I've already gone and done since it's super simple. Let's say we wanted to add like an angled tilt as well. After doing all the previous steps, we can add a comma and fighter Samus D motion body COO CO1 attack S3 low dot new and MB. But I'm not adding an angled tilt right now, so I'm just gonna remove that. Now that we've completed all the steps to add a new move, we can test this in Smash. And you can see now that Dark Samus has the third jab. As usual, all this code would be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!